On day one, I was a poison enderman being chased by the magical warriors of light. <laughs> the Ender Chiridian is finally in my hands! You won't get away with this, thief! More and more of the light warriors tried to stop me, but as a poison enderman, I had the power to teleport. I zipped past them one by one until I was gone from their clutches. See ya, suckers! Suddenly, I was stopped by Baron the Brave, the most powerful of all light warriors. Release the book now, or perish. No way! It's your funeral. Baron began to cast a powerful spell on the book, causing the pages to fly out. Before I could grab them, the pages vanished before my very eyes. Ugh, that'll never stop me, hero boy! I'll find those pages, and when I do, I'll become the ultimate poison enderman! Before I could be captured, I was randomly teleported to the overworld. What the? Who just teleported me? On day two, I was in a random spot in the overworld. Ugh, I can't believe I let Baron take those pages! I have to find them quickly, before the Warriors of Light find me! You're a little too late for that! I turned and realized that the light forces had already found me. Capture that poison enderman immediately! The warriors all charged at me with everything they had, and I braced myself for battle. They began to all shoot fire magic at me, which would burn me if I wasn't quick enough on my feet. Luckily, as a poison enderman, I was not only able to levitate blocks, but also shoot poisonous projectiles from my hands. I hit down the warriors from afar, chipping them away with my corrupted magic. Thanks to my poisonous magic, I was able to put up a fight, but there were far too many of them. Smell you later! I used my Endersoul hand to teleport away until I finally got them off my trail. That was close. Surely there's something in this book to make me stronger. I flipped open the Ender Chiridian and realized that the Baron had missed one of the pages. Looks like I have some magic to learn after all. I was about to read it when suddenly I felt a dark presence lurking behind me. I turned around and realized it was the infamous Dark Mage, the Entity of Evil. I see you've stolen the Endochiridion, little one. Mind if I take a look? Sorry, I went through a lot of trouble getting this. I teleported you here just for you to refuse me. Rub it your way. Before I could run, the Entity of Evil turned day to night and summoned his cursed soldiers from the ground to attack me. On day three, I was engaged in battle with the Entity of Evil's undead army. The Entity himself watched as I struggled against their numbers. The unburied all charged me with the intent to kill. Luckily, I was able to levitate blocks and send them flying at the mobs to deal good damage. Whenever they got too close, I would teleport away and retaliate with my poison magic. But no matter how many unburied I was able to take out, they just kept coming. I was already worn out from my previous battles, and I knew I couldn't keep this up much longer. Please, book! Don't let me down! I flipped to the first page and read the spell. My name is Pallius, an archmage for the Warriors of Light. Years ago, pillages increased activity near my overworld home, burning down town after town. Their cruelty and malice knew no end, and was something I could not tolerate. I worked to create a spell to stop the pain, stop the suffering. After many long nights, I believe I did just that. Wind Punch! I snapped back to reality and suddenly I was able to perform the Wind Punch from the flashback. I began to use my new powerful magic to punch the unburied down one by one. They didn't stand a chance against my new abilities and dropped like flies. Whoa, if one page is this powerful, I wonder what the others can do. Watch until the end of the video to see the incredible powers each new page gives me. Thanks to the power of the Ender Chiridian, I was able to defeat the remainder of the Entity's minions. I see you're missing some pages, hmm. Or else you'd have all the power in the world to destroy me. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what a terrible liar. Looks like I'll be on the hunt for these pages as well. Good luck, Poison Enderman. You're going to need it. <laughs> the Entity of Evil vanished, leaving me alone. If I want the power of the book, I'll have to find the missing pages before the Entity or Baron the Brave can. On days 4 through 7, I decided it was time to start working on a base. I started by punching some trees for wood and crafted myself a wooden pickaxe. Afterwards, I mined for cobblestone and I accidentally fell in the water. Ow, 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 ow! Okay, water hurts. Noted. I used my new materials to make a set of stone tools. Now time for the fun part. I found a secured location and got to work on the foundations of my home. 
I didn't have much to work with yet, so I made sure it was already sturdy and had all the basics I needed for survival. Not a bad start. Just then, I spotted a baby slime hopping towards me. Hey you! Get out of here! I blasted some of my magic at her, and suddenly she started to glow for a moment. Beep. What the? How did she do that? I took out the Enderchiridion and walked up to the strange slime. Suddenly, she started to glow again. Whoa! I walked away and the glowing stopped. She's like a magic detector! If she's close to a magic source, she starts to glow! If that's the case, you're coming with me! I got to work on a small room for the little slime to call her own. Once I was finished, she hopped around full of energy. I guess I'll call you Meep. You'll be perfect for finding the lost pages. Suddenly, Meep began to glow. That must be a magic source. Let's get moving. On days 8 through 11, I followed Meep. Along the way, I slayed some cows for their meat and cooked it up in a furnace. It's about time. After that, we continued traveling, eventually arriving at a mysterious ancient ruin. The first page must be locked up inside of there. The two of us walked towards the giant pyramid structure when suddenly undead soldiers rose from the ground below. Sorry guys, I'm passing through. As Meep went to hide, I began fighting the mummies that guarded the ruins. I used my wind punch to defeat the few that rushed towards me, but there were too many. As I maneuvered around the horde, I pulled out my stone sword to finish off the remaining guards. After a lot of fighting, I finally took down the last of the undead and began searching for a way inside the ruins. Paige! Where are you? As I searched the surroundings of the structure, I quickly caught on that the place was crawling with traps. Thankfully, I had my teleportation abilities to keep me out of trouble. After a lot of looking, we finally found a way inside where the page was waiting. Sweet! Let's go get it, Meep. Meep! Suddenly, she hopped away as if something had just spooked her. Huh, I wonder what that was about. I walked up towards the page, but before I could grab it, a giant guardian manifested between me and the page. Uh, nice monster? The guardian of the page barreled towards me with the intent to kill. He immediately hit me with a projectile, dealing massive damage and lifting me up towards the ceiling. I used my teleportation ability to return to the ground safely. As soon as I regained my footing, I used my telekinesis to lift the sand around me and throw it at him. I used my poison abilities and sword to chip away at his health. Despite his strength, I managed to overpower the guardian, taking him down once and for all. Baron the Brave must have placed protection spells on the pages. I'll have to be careful. I bet they're all guarded in different ways. I snatched up the page and it instantly reunited with the book. Let's see what you have to offer. Not so fast. I looked up and realized that the Warriors of Light had entered the ruins. Surrender the book, poisonous one. Make me! I flipped open the book and read the new spell, instantly transporting me into another flashback. My name is Calypso, and I am a warrior of light. I had the ability to speak to the animals of this land, and thought to bring about peace. However, once the players started taking advantage of the animals for their own gain, I was forced to bring about a solution. I created my most powerful spell. The one known as Call of the Wolf. I returned to reality and performed my new spell. Call of the Wolf! The wolf immediately charged at my foes, biting and taking down all the warriors in its path. I joined the fight and began spraying my poison projectiles at the ones with lowered health and finished them off. We were the ultimate duo! In combination with my telekinetic powers, I added my poison magic to deal even more damage. Thanks to my powerful new spell, I took out the light warriors one by one. It wasn't long until every last one of them was defeated. Once the fighting had finished, the magical wolf vanished into thin air. <laughs> These pages are incredible! Soon, nothing will stop me! On days 15 through 18, I returned home feeling more confident since I had managed to get my first page. Upon arriving, I had noticed that Meep was already there. So this is where you ran off to. I hope you had a good break, because it's time to start looking for more pages. They won't find themselves. Meep. With our plan set, Meep began walking off from the base and I followed. After we had traveled a decent amount, Meep began to glow. We must be getting close. Let's keep moving. We had arrived at the area, but there were no pages in sight. Suddenly, I felt that same dark presence from before. The entity of evil was standing before me. <laughs> I didn't think it would be this easy. You fell right into my trap. What? I would be the one to collect the remaining pages of the Enderchiridion. Without hesitation, he launched a spell at me. With no time to dodge, I had been knocked unconscious. Pew, pew, pew! What are you up to, son? I'm 
playing wizard. One day, I'll be just as skilled in magic as you are. I'm sure you will, my boy. Max, dinner is ready. Let's not keep your mom waiting. Strong wizards listen to their moms. Yay! Startled by the flashback, I woke up with so many questions in my mind. Was that my past? But that would mean I wasn't always a poison enderman. What happened? I had looked around only to realize that both the entity and Meep were gone. My pass will have to wait. My page tracker has been slime napped. On days 19 through 21, I began my search for Meep. I was beginning to lose hope when suddenly I spotted a trail of slime balls on the ground. Clever Meep. She must be this way. I followed the trail and discovered a mysterious forest area where the next page was waiting. Unfortunately for me, the entity of evil and Meep were already there. Let Meep go. She's my page tracker. More like she's your weakest link. The entity snagged the page, causing the protection spell to go off. The forest around us was set on fire. Yes, yes, the power of this spell is limitless. Give that back. Meep ran away scared, and I charged into battle, ready to do anything to get that page. I began to use all of my poison enderman abilities to try and take out the entity. Unfortunately for me, he was far stronger than I expected. With the power of the page, he became a powerful pyromancer. He launched massive fire attacks which dealt loads of damage. Not only that, but he was able to walk through the fire and the flames without taking any damage at all. I tried my best to evade him, but I couldn't avoid getting set on fire. I tried to put the fire out in the nearby fountain, but the water hurt me too. Despite my efforts, the power of the page had made the entity too strong. I lost the fight. That was fun, but I must take my leave. The fun dealing with fire, ta, ta The entity teleported away, leaving me alone with Meep in the blazing forest. I swear I'll get that page back if it's the last thing I do. I ran and grabbed Meep and used my teleportation powers to teleport us out of the forest fire. On days 22 through 24, Meep and I returned home to regroup after that rough encounter. Before I could get too comfortable, I found a nearby beach and dug up as much sand as I could. I quickly smelted it and then used it to expand my base some more. My plan was to make my house a poison potion bottle to match my poison itself. This is already looking much better. After I finished working on the main structure, I gathered up some sheep and enclosed them in a pen for consistent food. Oh, you're adorable. I petted one of the sheep, but my magic accidentally caused it to get poisoned, killing it instantly. Whoops. Finally, I went mining and found plenty of iron and coal. I quickly smelted the iron into ingots and crafted myself some iron tools. I'm feeling much more prepared now. As I admired my build, me popped up to me. Meep? Am I okay? I'm fine. Just... Something strange happened back there. I explained to Meep about the strange vision I had of my past. Meep, meep. I guess you're right. The answers will come in due time. For now, we have to keep up the search for pages. It was getting late, so the two of us tried to get some rest. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't sleep, so I decided to do some late night searching instead. As I traveled, I discovered a warrior of light on a mission. Perfect. I trailed behind them, and after a lot of traveling, I was led to a mysterious library. Surely there's a page in here! I infiltrated the library and discovered that the Warrior of Light was roaming the halls in search of something. I gotta be careful. If I get caught, it could be bad news. I investigated until I discovered a door behind a secret bookshelf. I tried to open it, but it was locked. How do I get through? Just then, I noticed a book on the floor, so I picked it up and gave it a read. The library holds the secret code. Find it to continue down this road. Looks like the code is scattered throughout the library. I better get looking. With my new objective, I began to stealth from shelf to shelf, taking extra care not to be seen by the warrior. I managed to snag the first clue, giving me one piece of the code. Only two more to go. Just then, I heard the sound of someone approaching. With quick thinking, I teleported into another spot of the library before the warrior could spot me. That was close. I continued my search carefully and managed to find another piece of the code. One more left. I kept looking when I spotted a frame on the wall that held the final book I needed. Unfortunately for me, the warrior of light was standing right in front of it. Looks like it's time for some magic. I fired off one of my spells, causing poison to shoot onto the floor. The warrior walked over to it in confusion, giving me just the opening I needed. I teleported to the book and grabbed it. Time to see what's behind that door. On days 28 through 30, I arrived on the other side of the door to discover the next page waiting on a pedestal. Without a moment to waste, I ran over and grabbed it. Score! Suddenly, alarms began to go off around the entire facility. Why are there alarms at a library? Before I could react, Baron the Brave appeared before me. 
Surrender the page, Enderman. No way! I already lost one! I won't lose another! I quickly began to read the page, sending me into another flashback. My name is Micha. I am a knowledgeable scholar who runs the Grand Library of the Warriors of Light. When the Nightwatcher Uprising began, our people were defenseless to their strength. I was told to use my countless hours of study to aid my people. I compiled all of my knowledge and created a powerful spell beyond comprehension, and its name is Explosive Summon. I snapped back to reality and now had the ability to perform the spell, but before I could celebrate, the walls began to close in. Looks like you set off this page's trap. Good luck escaping. The Baron vanished, leaving me alone in the trap. I tried to teleport out of the room, but it wasn't working. It was almost as if it was sealed by magic. The Baron's magic surpassed mine. I can't escape. Desperate for a solution, I used my new spell to blast through the walls closing around me. Thanks to my brute force, I was able to escape the library. That was close, but now I'm one page closer to limitless power. On days 31 through 33, I returned home to tell Meep the good news. I know, right? Check out this spell. It's crazy. I casted my new spell, but the explosion was so large it accidentally hit me. Oh no, are you okay? <coughs> the explosion had caused her to get poisoned. I'm so sorry. I'll make this right. In her weak state, Meep tossed over a list for me titled Cure. Milk, honey, and queen honey? I better get moving. I crafted a bucket and some empty bottles and started to gather what I needed. First, I milked some cows, which I did with these. Next, I gathered up honey from a nearby beehive. The bees weren't too happy about it, but I was able to chew them off with my magic. One more thing to get. But how do I get queen honey? Just then, I spotted some of the bees from earlier flying off in another direction. They're probably headed towards their hive. Queen bee, here I come. On days 34 through 37, I followed the bees who foolishly led me to their hive. Time to get that honey. I was about to walk inside, but I was stopped by a swarm of her men. Defend the queen! I began spraying my poisonous projectiles at the agitated bees. They tried their best to swarm around me, but I was quick enough to get around them. I summoned my wolf companion to aid me in the battle. He managed to bite a few while I finished them off. Using my new spell, I dealt massive AoE damage to everything within the explosion. I managed to fight my way through the storm and enter the throne room where the queen stood waiting. Who dares to disturb the queen? Please, I need your honey or else my friend won't make it. Yeah, right. I see you're corrupted by dark magic. I'm not going to help the likes of you. The queen charged at me with the intent to kill. I tried to use my telekinesis power, but I was unable to lift the blocks around me. I tried to use my explosive summon, but she would close the gap between us too quickly, making it more likely to get caught in the explosion. I summoned my wolf once again, and he managed to become a great distraction while I attacked from afar. Little by little, I was dwindling her health down until she was in a weakened state. The battle was intense, but I managed to best her in combat. Surrender the honey or else. It seems I'm no match to you. Very well, take this honey. The queen handed over what I was looking for and I quickly headed back to the base. I didn't have a moment to waste. Once I got home, I crafted the potion and gave it to me. Are you okay? <coughs> You're all better. What a relief. Sorry again, little buddy. Just then, I spotted one of the entity's goons lurking in the distance. I quickly shot at them with my poisonous powers, causing them to fall right away. Looks like the enemy is closing in. I better reinforce this place. On days 38 through 40, I decided it was time to finally expand the base. I started by increasing the size of my potion bottle home. Cute! Next, I made a large farm to grow crops for additional food and for the sheep to enjoy. Finally, I headed to the mines where I managed to find iron, coal, and even some diamond. Looks like it's my lucky day. I used all of my new resources to craft some armor, including diamond boots and an iron chest plate. As the sun began to set, my expansion was completed. Things are really shaping up around here. Meep and I decided to get some shut eye before continuing the search. As I drifted off, I had another strange dream. Daddy, are you going to sleep soon? Oh, hello, Max. Sorry, but I'm very busy with work. What are you doing? I'm working on a very special spell. You'll see soon enough. I'll make you and your mother proud. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. Now get some rest. I woke up feeling even more confused than before. Why was the entity there? And was my dad writing in the Ender Chiridian? I have to find answers. On days 41 through 42, I decided to continue my search by returning to my childhood home. Surely the questions about my dad will be answered there. I began on my journey to search for an end portal. 
Luckily, as an Enderman, I could sense where the closest portal was located. After a lot of traveling, I finally arrived at the portal. Home, here I come. I hopped into the portal, but when I emerged on the other side, I was in the middle of a Warrior of Lights war meeting. Uh, nice place you got here. <laughs> Don't just stand there, fools. Seize that thief. Ah! I ran around their base trying to find a way out, but around every corner was another warrior blocking my exit. As soon as I found a clear way out, I teleported out of there as quickly as I could. Ooh, what a weird spot to place an ender portal. On days 43 through 45, I had managed to get the Warriors of Light off of my tail. Ah, <sighs> finally. Those guys are so persistent. After taking a short break, I continued looking around for my old home, but the land ahead was all barren. Traveling further, I was stopped by a vast divide between me and my next destination. On the other side, there seemed to be another enderman analyzing the distance between us. You think you can make that jump? Huh? Oh, yeah, easily. It doesn't look that far at all. Hmm, if you say so. Getting a running start, he attempted to jump and teleported across. Unfortunately, he was too far off and fell to his impending doom. Uh, I mean, it would be easy for me, but <laughs> I don't feel like trying, so I'll look for another way around. <laughs> Walking along the edges, I couldn't find any clear way to get across. It looks like I'll just have to make my own way across. Using the blocks I had in my inventory, I began building a bridge to the other side. Before I could even get to the halfway point, the Warriors of Light spotted me and started to charge in my direction. Halt! Stay where you are! Sorry, friendo. Don't think I want to stick around for that. With the lack of time I had, it was now or never. I made a leap of faith and teleported towards the other side. <laughs> Landing at the edge, I had barely made it across. Wow, talk about cutting it close. The warriors attempted to follow in my footsteps, but couldn't manage the great feat. Falling to their doom, I continued onwards. On days 46 through 48, I felt like I was finally getting closer to what I was looking for. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Suddenly, I began to have subtle visions of my past. Phasing into my reality, I was seeing bits and pieces of familiar times from when I was younger. I remember this place. This is where I lost my wand my dad made for me. And this is where I broke down my first chorus plant. After following the visions, I had finally found the house. Upon walking up, the visions had gotten stronger. My dad was out front, admiring his build. After a few moments, he walked inside and placed something in a chest. Inside was a note and another spell page for the Ender Chiridian. I must bring this page to my brothers in the Warriors of Light before it falls into the wrong hands. Baron will know what to do with it. My dad was a Warrior of Light? Before I could read the spell page, I heard a shout coming from outside the house. House. We know you're in there, thief. Come out before things get ugly. Oh no, how am I supposed to get out of here? On days 49 through 51, I was trapped inside of my old home thanks to the Warriors of Light. I don't think there's any other way around this. I stepped outside to confront the Baron head on. Hold your fire, please, listen to me. I explained everything I learned about my father being a Warrior of Light. How could your father possibly be a warrior of light? You're just a worthless thief. The warriors readied their weapons, and so I read the spell as a last resort. I am a father, husband, and one of the warriors of light. My sole hope is to create a world where my family can live in peace. Because of this, I've worked on a spell that I will one day pass to my son, Max. This spell will grant him the power to protect himself and our home. I snapped back into reality and suddenly I had a strange sensation. I grew in size and both of my arms mutated. I transformed into a poison mutant enderman. I now had 30 hearts. Whoa, I'm super strong now. I can't believe dad made this spell for me. There wasn't any time to reminisce. Warriors all attacked me, so I had no choice but to use my new strength to defend myself. The warriors rushed at me with all of their might while the Baron shot fireballs from afar. Despite them not holding back, I had to be careful not to wound them too bad. Badly. Now that I knew about my father's past, I wanted to ensure his people were safe. Please, I don't want to fight you. Despite my pleas, the warriors refused to back down. Just as I thought I was cornered, I felt a large influx of dark magic overcome me. I was teleported to an unknown location. On days 52 through 55, I teleported back into the overworld. I guess that transformation gave me enough magic to teleport all the way back here. I felt lost in my own thoughts. I couldn't believe that I wasn't destined to be a dark mage, but rather a warrior of light like my father. I have to learn the truth. How did I become a poison enderman? And where is my father? I headed back home to regroup, but when I arrived, I discovered that the place had been torn to pieces by one of the entity's minions. You must be looking for the pages. I charged in to take out the intruder. I began to launch blocks at the mushroom monster, but he wasn't going to go down without a fight. 
The minions summoned tiny mushroom companions to help aid him in battle. I tried to blast them all away with my air punch, and even managed to push them into the fire for additional damage. While their numbers were overwhelming, I was the more powerful sorcerer. I blasted away at him with all of the spells I had gained up to this point. I was determined to protect my home and Meep. I fought until he finally went down. Once the dust had finally settled, me popped out of hiding. Meep, meep. There you are. I'm glad you're okay. Though I can't say the same for the base. Meep, meep. You're right. Let's get fixing. Meep and I began to repair the damages done, filling in any holes in the ground as well as repairing destroyed blocks on the base itself. Once the place was restored, I decided it was time to make it even better. I continued work on my potion bottle home. I added on a cap and some water, and it was finally complete. It's better than new. Just then, I spotted a map on the ground nearby and picked it up. The minion must have dropped this. Looks like I have a new lead for the next page. On days 56 through 59, I continued to follow the map in search of the next page. Along the way, I came across an ender vendor. Come on over here, poison this one. Take a look at my stuff. Ooh, how much is the Nightfall armor set? Well, it's quite rare. I'd say it's worth ah, 64 full stacks of diamonds. What? No way I can afford that. I'm out of here. No, wait, I forgot the Enderman discount. I could part with it for the items on this list. Then you got yourself a deal. He handed over the list. An apple, golden carrot, and a thunder feather. Got it. On days 60 through 62, I began my search for the items on the list. Time to get these groceries. I started by knocking down some trees and managed to get a few apples. An apple a day keeps the entity away. Next, I found a village and gathered up some carrots from their farm. Afterwards, I headed to the mines where I managed to find lots of gold. Finally, I used the materials to make a golden carrot. Only one more to go. I began searching for the last remaining item inside a cave system, but it was nowhere to be found. Where could that thing be? Just then, I heard a low growl come from behind me. When I turned around, I discovered that I had walked right into a monster's nest. Uh-oh, you're scary looking. The beast charged at me, leaving me no choice but to fight. The insect monster was able to spit eggs which hatched into miniature bugs to aid them. With their army of mutants, they charged at me with incredible numbers. I started to use my explosive summons to take out the hordes in mass. Unfortunately, the longer I took to kill them off, the faster they began to evolve. Some of the mutants gained wings and flew around to attack. I did my best to evade them by teleporting to freedom and gathered up more power than before. I used my magic to cast more explosive summons to overwhelm the monster's army. After a fierce battle, I managed to take out the beast. Upon their death, they dropped the last item I needed. That makes three. Time to go to the Ender Vendor. I returned with my loot and traded everything in for my Nightfall Armor prize. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Now it's time to keep looking for that page. On days 63 through 65, I arrived at a mystical altar where the page was waiting. Perfect. I quickly rushed over to it, but before I could get close enough, the entity teleported between me and the page. Ah, uh, uh, uh. I will be taking that. He snatched the page and it suddenly began to snow. Yes, yes, the power. Once he got a hold of it, the ground began to tremble below us. A heavy wind began to pick up, and he grew in size. Surrender that page now, or I'll have to show you just how powerful I've become. I'd like to see you try. I started by using my explosive summons to blast the entity off of the mountain, giving me the high ground. I then teleported down next to him and continued my attack up close and personal, summoning guard dogs to help me. While it seemed like I was getting an edge, it quickly became clear to me that the entity was far more powerful than I ever could have anticipated. With the power of the page, he was able to break the ground beneath him, sending shockwaves that shot me up into the sky. I did my best to evade his attacks, but he was far too great in strength. After one final hit with his fire magic, I wasn't able to fight any longer. How could this be? You've gotten much stronger, I see. You remind me of another Enderman. It was just as strong as you. Too bad I killed him and his partner. <laughs> now you will endure the same fate as him. Just as I thought I was finished and my quest was over, suddenly Baron the Brave showed up and blocked the entity's attack. Run! Without hesitation, I listened to what he said and ran for my life. On days 66 through 69, I returned back to my base and began to collect myself from what had just happened. Why did Baron come to help me? Doesn't he hate me? I was feeling helpless, so I decided to do some building to clear my head. 
I started by building a whole other potion bottle house. Once I finished, I made it into my own little sorcery room with an enchantment table, bookshelves, and even a cauldron to practice my own spells. Perfect for a wizard like me. Afterwards, I headed to the mines where I managed to find some more diamond. Finally, I used my new materials to craft some diamond armor, officially completing my expansion and preparations. Not too shabby. Just then, me popped over to me. <coughs> the Baron left a note here earlier? She tossed over the letter and I began to read through it. Dear Poison Enderman, I believe we are on the same side. If you wish to meet, please join me for dinner at the Castle of Light. Baron the Brave. He's calling a truce? Meep, meep. You're right. Maybe the Warriors of Light could help us defend ourselves from the entity. But I don't know. This could be a trap. I wasn't confident enough to accept right away, so I decided to wait for now. On days 70 through 73, Meep and I set off in search of more leads on the final page. All right, girl, if you find something, you know what to do. Meep! The two of us traveled for a while with no luck, when suddenly Meep began to glow. We traveled all night, until we finally arrived at a strange village occupied only by slimes. What is this place? Before I could look any further, we were approached by a giant slime. Welcome to Slimeville. I'm Mad Merp. You must be the poison enderman my daughter has told me so much about. This is your dad? Perhaps you can help my people. Joey the kangaroo has taken over our jumping spot. If you can get it back, we'll reward you with this map we found. That could lead to the final page. You got it. On days 74 through 76, I arrived at the jumping spot to find a massive trampoline with a diving board. There, Joey the kangaroo was having fun hopping around. This is great! I don't see the problem. It seems like he's just having fun. Just then, a slime tried to hop onto the trampoline, but Joey quickly attacked them, killing them in a single shot. My trampoline! Or not. This needs to stop. I confronted the no good kangaroo. Stop harassing these slimes! This is their jumping spot! The only way I'll give up this spot is if you beat me in a jump off! You're on! Joey took his position on the top of the diving board. He made the first jump, landing on the trampoline below and making really high air. Your move! Watch and learn. I jumped off the diving board and bounced up as high as I could. Luckily, I had something Joey didn't. Magic! I used my magic to teleport through the ceiling. That is cheating! In a fit of rage, Joey attacked me. With my explosive summon in hand, I blasted Joey the kangaroo off of the ceiling and into a clearing. I teleported closer and began using my telekinesis powers to throw the grass blocks, dealing massive damage to his health. He used his speed to his advantage and closed the distance quickly. Punching me left and right, it was hard to evade his attacks. Enough was enough. I pulled out my explosive summon and launched him away. With one final attack, I had ended the fight. I managed to defeat the deranged kangaroo, officially winning back the slime's jumping spot. The mayor came out and congratulated me. Thank you, Max. Take this map as a token of my appreciation. Mayor Merp tossed over the map I needed as my reward. Thanks. Time to look for the last page. On days 77 through 79, I continued to follow the map until it ended up leading me to another portal. The final piece must be through here. I headed through the portal and landed inside the nether. As I looked around, I quickly spotted the final page in the distance. There it is! And it's surrounded by gold! Time to get more powerful and rich at the same time! As I inched closer to the page, the ground trembled, and I spotted a giant herd of stampeding hoglins heading straight towards me. Ah! Without any other options, I was forced to run in the opposite direction of the page to avoid the hoglins. Why can't it ever be easy? Ah! Thanks to my teleportation abilities, I managed to shake them off of my tail. Phew, glad that's over. I spoke too soon when I was suddenly confronted by an army of piglins. He's trying to take our gold. No, please, I just want that piece of paper over there. You can keep the gold. He's lying, sick em, boys. The piglin army did what their commander asked and charged me with the intent to kill. As their piglin army began to dwindle, the commanding officer had no choice but to call in for backup. Someone get Big Bert. What? Who's that? Just then, a giant hulking piglin dropped down in front of me wearing impressively strong armor. Oh, you must be Big Bert. Ah! I puny one! He immediately came barreling towards me. As I was about to attack, he quickly disappeared from my vision. He seemed to be able to teleport just like me. 
He charged at me yet again, hitting me with his mace. I tried my best to hit with my explosive summons, but he'd easily evade each one. Suddenly, he teleported out of sight one last time. From a distance, I heard squealing and the smell of bacon. To his downfall, Big Bert ended up in a pit of lava. Taking advantage of this golden opportunity, I began throwing my explosive summons to finish off his last bit of health. The oversized piglet was tough, but I was tougher. I defeated him and ran over to the page to claim my prize. Finally, the last page is mine. On days 80 through 83, I began reading the last page of the Ender Chiridion and entered into another vision. Surrender your page, warrior of light, or die. I'll never give this to the likes of you. Have it your way. No! Mom? Dad? Now, for you, young one. You think yourself to be a warrior of light like your father? Well, you are sadly mistaken. Gah! Gah! Wh what's happening to me? Gah! Now that I've corrupted you with dark magic, you will never become a warrior. <laughs> uh, what is this feeling? I feel more powerful. But I want more! I will stop at nothing to acquire more! <laughs> Just then, a surge of energy flowed through me and I gained 10 hearts and a fire staff ability. The entity killed my parents and made me a poison enderman? Now I know who the real villain is. I need to team up with the Warriors of Light! On days 84 through 88, I began traveling back to the Castle of Light to accept the Baron's dinner invitation. When I arrived, I was warmly greeted by the Baron himself. Welcome, Poison One. I mean, Max. Please follow me. Oh, okay. I followed the Baron as he led me to a giant table where we would enjoy a grand feast. <laughs> Thank you for this. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. I know the truth now. Yes, I believe I have put some of the pieces of your puzzle together as well. You are not a bad person. This is just the aftermath of the entity. You know who I am? Well, I don't know you, but I did know your father and his family. He was an excellent warrior, and your mother was a top-tier chef. How did you find out he was my dad? There were rumors that you had survived and were cursed with dark magic. I put the clues together, and now here we are. Well, thank you for giving me a chance. Despite you being corrupted by dark magic, your true feelings are coming through. The Warriors of Light are on your side. Suddenly, a nearby wall blasted open and revealed the entity on the other side. Oh no! They found us! Ah, the two-for-one special. Prepare to die. With his command, his minions began swarming into the castle. With nowhere to go, I joined the battle against the entity's minions. I swung my axe at the unsuspecting minions, lowering their health and finishing them off. I moved onto the next group and hurled surrounding blocks at the unburied. Their numbers were beginning to diminish. Suddenly, the entity started summoning more of his minions and began to overwhelm us with sheer numbers. I figured the best way to handle this large group was explosions, and lots of it. I started by chucking my explosive summons and reducing the enemies little by little. Unfortunately, with the entity's ability to summon more, it felt like there was no end. Between my magic and the Warrior of Lights, we were taking down the evil army one by one. Everything was going well until the entity suddenly teleported behind the Baron, dealing a devastating blow. Baron! <laughs> Have fun with my little minions! The entity teleported away and I rushed over to the Baron's side to help him. By the time I got there, it was clear that his wounds were too grave. It's too late for me, Max. I was wrong to doubt you. Please take my father's sword. He gave it to me as a child. With your newfound strength, you can use it to defeat the entity. No, I can help you. Just hang on a little longer. Command my army to victory, Max. I know you can. Just like that, the Baron died in front of me. No! I took out the blade the Baron gave me and rejoined the fight. I wasn't going to let his sacrifice be in vain. Together with the Warriors of Light, we finished off the rest of the minions. Inside the rubble, I found a map that led to the entity's base. Let's return to my base to prepare for the final battle. The entity will pay for his crimes! On days 94 through 98, I returned to my base with the Warriors of Light. Don't worry, Meep. They're our homies now. Let's get them comfortable.
I got to work on a living quarters for all of my new troops. I made sure everyone had their own bed to rest in and chest to hold their items. Next, I continued working on my main build. I built another potion bottle structure to house a portal, making it easier for us to travel from one dimension to the next. With that, my base was officially complete. Perfectly fit for a poison enderman. Now that my build was done, I headed into the mines and gathered up as much iron and coal as I could find. I then smelted all of the iron into ingots and crafted armor for the warriors of light to wear into our final battle. Once we were prepared, I rallied my men and gave my final speech to them. After today, we'll be facing our most difficult battle yet. We must take down the Entity of Evil, reclaim the pages to the Ender Chiridian, and protect it from the Dark Arts. Let's do this for Enderkind, for Baron the Brave! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Before leaving, me popped up to me and gave me a potion of strength. Thanks, girl. We'll take out the Entity once and for all. While closely following the map, my army arrived at the Entity's base located in the end. Let's do this. Suddenly, the Entity's men charged out of nowhere. Nowhere. They were prepared. Was this a trap? Trap or not, I led my army into battle to fight against the entity's minions. My troops began attacking the oncoming horde and both armies began to disperse around the battlefield. I made haste and quickly began beating down on the horde of minions, lighting them ablaze with my fireball wand and poisoning them with my projectiles. Although we had defeated a large quantity of enemies, there were still so many being summoned. There was no end to them. We fought and defeated the goons for what felt like hours, but there were still too many. Go on ahead, Max. We've got it from here. Thank you. With that, I left my army to defend themselves while I pressed on deeper into the base. On day 100, I arrived inside of the Entity of Evil's chambers. There he stood waiting for me. I've been expecting you, Max. And I see you've brought the Ender Kyridion straight to me. With my incredible power, I rip that little book right from your hands. I'll never let you take this from me. For my mother, father, and the Baron. Looks like you finally remembered our little past. You're too late, though. I've already grown stronger than you could possibly imagine. Let's see about that. I drank down my potion of strength and charged into the final battle. I focused in and used the Baron's Enderite Sword with everything I had. Not only did I have the skills I'd learned from the last 100 days, but I also had anger in my heart directed at the Entity of Evil. He killed my parents and the Baron. He had to pay. I sent in a barrage of fireballs and sandstone, which was made difficult by his teleportation. On top of this, he was able to light me on fire, dealing large amounts of damage. I pressed on though, continuing to blast him with flames. After a lot of fighting, I could tell he was getting weak. Now was the time. Thanks to Meep's potion, I had just the edge I needed to defeat the Entity of Evil. I did it! 